Hi everybody, Mrs. Bolger here. I wanted to give you a quick overview of how to use your Google Classroom. Some of you are not using it properly, some of you are struggling, and others of you are using it splendidly. If you're having trouble, this will be a very quick overview to show you how to use it. More importantly, how to attach movies, videos, and images inside your Google Classroom so that you can submit them as part of your assignment. A lot of my assignments, I said, you can just take a picture and send it on over. And while I love getting emails from you, I'm getting like a hundred emails a day with images and it's a little bit too much for me to keep track of. So I wanna make sure that you're getting credit for these assignments. So I need you guys to learn how to put them into your Google Classroom assignments. Okay, here's how you do it. You're going to go into your Google Classroom. Once you are there, you're gonna go into my class. And again, this is the main stream. You can leave me messages here and we can have chats, but you're gonna go up to classwork and you're gonna pick the assignment we're gonna work on, you're gonna work on. I'm gonna do the learn to iron assignment. A lot of you have had questions and you've been emailing me that you don't own an iron and you can't do this assignment. If you read the instructions, you do not need an iron. You just have to do a Google Slides presentation on how to use an iron. You can research that yourself on Google. You can use my YouTube video where I give you some tips, or you can ask somebody at home and you can create the slideshow, okay? So once you're into your classroom, you're gonna click View Assignment. This is the assignment right here, so you can read about it. I've put in my video that I made. The Google Slides are right here, right here, okay? That's how to iron. This second document is the Google Doc. This is the extra credit assignment. So right here it says if you'd like to iron something for yourself for extra credit you can, just complete the optional extra credit write-up attached or email me your own instructional video. Okay, I'm going to change that. I'm going to take out email me your instructional video. I want you to put it in a slide or in a Google Doc. Okay, I'm going to show you how. All right, so for the Google Slides, you're going to click on the one that I made for you. Okay, I already was playing with this, so I have some video already in here, but I'm gonna delete it so I can show you how to actually do this, okay? And here's some fun images, all right? So, all you need to do, and even so, I'm gonna delete all of these so I can show you. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, yours is gonna look like this when you start. One slide, I want you to have five. So all you're gonna do is hit the plus button. Two, three. Four, five. Now you know this is how many you need. Can you have more than that? Absolutely. All right. I want you to title this the way you want. Make it fun. Um, change the font. Okay. You know how to do all this stuff. All right. Change the background color. Choose uh, any color you want. All right. Make it as pretty as you want. Okay. So once you get to your second slide, say you want to put a picture in, or say your first slide you want to put a picture in. Okay. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All you're going to do is go up to insert and insert an image. You can in upload one from your computer or your phone if you're on your phone or mom's phone has some pictures on it of you do ironing, that's fine. You're gonna click that or you can search the web. So for this, you don't need an iron, you can just search the web. So you would just put an iron. I'm gonna put clip art because I think that it's cute. So again, so say we find an iron right here. This one looks good. I'm going to click it and I'm going to click insert. Now say I didn't like those choices. I didn't like the choices that they gave me on that slideshow. I can just go ahead to Google itself and go to iron clip art, say click images. And here are some fun images, right? I can just right click on this copy image and I can go back to my presentation. I'm going to take that one out and I'm going to paste this one in. There it is. Okay. Super easy. And now I can put in a text box and say step one. And then I can describe it. What is step one? Okay. So that's super easy. Now say you want to put a video in. How do you insert a video? Okay, well, we're gonna make this a little smaller because I wanna put a caption maybe under my video saying what's happening in my video. Again, I'm gonna go up to insert. I'm gonna go to video this time. Now, I can use a video from YouTube, certainly. Okay, well, here's my video on how to iron clothes. So let's select that link and let's drop that in. Search, 
here it is, and now I'm going to select it and insert it, okay? Please don't put my video into your presentation. I want you to find another one. But say you made your own video, which I did, this is my video, and say it's not on YouTube. I just want to take it off of my computer, or off my mobile device. How do I put that in, Mrs. Holder? Well, same way. You're going to go to video, and instead of choosing YouTube, you're going to go to your Google Drive. And you're going to choose your video from your Google Drive. Now, what if my video is not in my Google Drive yet? It's just on my phone. Well, that's not a problem. You're going to just go to your Google Drive. Here's the Google Drive. You're highlighted on my drive. And you're going to go to upload right here. And you're going to upload it. So this is going to open. Instead of opening here, I'm going to maybe plug my phone in. And I'll have my phone a choice over here. Or maybe I can open my Google Drive from my phone or from mom's phone, log in, upload my images, upload my videos, have everything there in a the folder. And then when you go back into your Google Classroom, it'll be all listed here, okay? Super easy. Now say I didn't have a Google Slide presentation here because that's the only kind of um, document that you can upload and insert your video this way. Say like for the last assignment, you only had a Google Doc there. Well, that's fine because all you need to do is go to your Google Classroom and you can add or create right here. So I can create a slide, a new slideshow right here and put more videos in. So say for the last assignment, I only gave you a Google Doc. You can still make a slideshow for me and show, put your images and your videos into that slideshow and I will have them connected to this assignment or that assignment. Okay, does that make sense? You can also put your files right here. You can just drag and drop right here, okay? Um, you can choose as many as you want, hit add, and then they will all show up here. So say I put it this way, I click add. Now I have myself ironing on my video right here, okay? So I would have my slideshow once it's finished, and then maybe some videos here. So you can either insert them into the Google Slideshow itself, or have them separate. Either way, I can see them all as part of the assignment. Versus if you just email them to me, then I just have them in my email box, okay? Once you like the way this looks, your slideshow is all complete, all your Google Docs are done, your extra credit assignment is done. If you're choosing to do it, you're gonna click Turn In. And it's gonna tell you, okay, you're turning in this slideshow, this extra credit doc, and this movie clip, okay? If your extra credit assignment is blank, that's fine. I'll know that you just didn't do it, you didn't wanna do it, and it's fine. You don't get points taken off, it's extra credit. Don't stress, guys, okay? And then you'll just click turn in, and you're done. Wham, bam, done, okay? So let me know if that helps, or if you need any more help getting into your Google Classroom. Again, get in there, save all your images and all your videos to your drive. It'll make it so much easier for you, and then you can insert everything. <clears throat> okay, thanks guys. See you later.